Well, welcome to Surveillance. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on. Thank you so Congratulations much. on the bond sale. This is what we saw. So there were three tranches, and you can see a lot of them. Uh, this is a chart normalizing them. Egyptian 2025 euro bonds outperforming a lot of the emerging markets. Why this sign of confidence? Um, uh, basically, uh, the economic reform program Egypt is adopting, uh, uh, starting 2014, and um, and more, uh, more notably uh, since our agreement with the IMF. Um, basically, we wanted to uh, to stop a period of uh, um, a very high uh, budget deficit and um, and accelerating that level in in, term, in in relation to the GDP, and we wanted to turn this into uh, uh, um, uh, more, more progressive and more um, uh, positive way of, uh, of of doing this. So we're starting to reduce our budget deficit uh, uh, gradually, and we're reducing it this year to 10.8 percent um, in comparison to last year, 12.3 percent, and more importantly, reducing um, uh, the the primary deficit from 3.6 percent to 1.8 percent this year. So we're putting together a program to take um, uh, uh, the 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 ailing the ailing condition that we were in into a more positive direction in, in the coming period of time. Yeah, and, and, and I will ask you a little bit about some of the taxes or uh, increasing government fees in just a second. Sure. But actually, what is the question that you got most by international investors? Were they asking you about the specific plan or were they asking you about terrorism in the region? Um, uh, look, the, the, the most important thing that was, I mean, hampering the economy from uh, 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 moving ahead in a, in a positive way was the situation of the foreign currency in the country. Uh, we had um, an ex exchange rate regime that is really putting a lot of pressure on the country, and we had a disparity between the official price and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the market prices. Uh, the decision to float the country was, uh, to float the currency was very important in the sense that, uh, that people would see uh, a proper regime in that perspective, and that really helped the investor a great deal. Second thing is uh, the, pr the process and procedures on, uh, on the ground in terms of how we attract investment and how we uh, uh, really um, uh, deal with whatever bureaucratic uh, procedures that are taking place, red tapes, and, uh, and all the difficulties the investor can face. So we're, uh, we're taking care of that and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do our utmost in order to attract investors to, to the country. Minister, how much of the sale was covered? Um, uh, basically, we, 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 we got um, an order book of $11 billion, and we allocated uh, $3 billion only. And uh, if, if together with our issuance in, uh, back, in, uh, back in January, when we, when we raised uh, an order book of $13.5 billion, right. that, that amounts to $24.5 billion of order book, and we raised $7 billion combined. Uh, the, 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 the more important issue here is uh, uh, the amount of demand on the 10 years and the 30 years, and that right. really reflects um, a great deal of um, vote of confidence in uh, the economic reform program Egypt is adopting now. So, so how many more bonds are you planning to sell in the coming year? Um, 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 not for now. At least we'll not come back to the market um, uh, for, for nine months. If anything, it could be uh, um, uh, sec second quarter of the calendar year 2018 um, uh, between April and May. If we we decide to come back again. Uh, Minister, when do you actually expect the IPOs of some of the state-run companies or some of the state-run banks to stake place? We're expecting, uh, we're expecting uh, two or three uh, in the next fiscal year. I mean July, uh, June uh, um, 17, 18. We're expecting uh, somewhere between three to five companies that can come to the market on that uh, from the government. And how much? From the government part. How much are you expecting to raise? Can you tell us the name of the companies? Um, um, uh, there, are, there are names that are already announced, um, uh, like uh, Bank de Coeur, uh, MP. It's a petroleum a petroleum engineering company as well and uh, there are more companies that are under study now to uh, take them to the market for in the next fiscal year right now how much are you expecting to raise overall um, uh, we're, we're talking uh, we're talking more or less around um, uh, 10, 10 to 15 billion in, right. in, in combined uh, we hope we can uh, do that as early as, as we can uh, Minister, I know you, you really laid out, of course, uh, some of what you're trying to achieve, and it's very clear that the forefront of this is trying to plug the deficit. So does that mean that you will have additional taxes or increase in government fees? And when are you expecting those to take hold? Uh, no, no more increase in the taxes. The, the, the only thing is that we have uh, uh, by the law that uh, the VAT rate will increase from 13 to 14 percent. Um, uh, um, uh, 
uh, no, nothing will come out as, uh, as, as additional fees except for um, uh, maybe certain industries that we need to uh, streamline their operation in a certain way, okay. but nothing okay. that will surprise people in, in terms of um, uh, more additional tax rates or, uh, or increasing tax rate in the coming period of time, no. Uh, Minister, the other thing is that the government keeps on saying that fuel and electricity, of course, um, subsidy cuts are essential. But given inflation is around 23, 24, 25 percent, would mm. you delay these cuts to, to give people a, a little uh, bit of a breathing room? Um, 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 from, from one perspective, inflation on annual basis is, is still high. Uh, on, on a month so, on a month uh, over months basis it is uh, it is slowing down uh, we expect this uh, to continue uh, uh, but the idea here for for the subsidy is that uh, this is a plan that is um, uh, being preset by the government since 2014 mm -hmm. to deal with the subsidy in, an, in a more efficient way because uh, 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 we face some time or, or we faced in, in the last 15 years uh, um, a way of giving subsidy in absolute terms that is really uh, uh, very, very, very harming to the economy and very harming to the people as well. That's why we need to deal with the, with the subsidy issue in a, in a more efficient way and we, right. we need to ensure that it's well targeting and reaching those who deserve it the most. But sir, can you give me a timeline? So, so when uh, are the, uh, the subsidy it, cuts? It, it, has a, it hasn't place? been yet decided uh, okay. on the timing. But okay. it could be six months, nine months, or would you um, delay it until the situation uh, 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 stabilizes a bit? Uh, uh, things are being studied in, uh, because it is it is a number of things that uh, that we, um, I mean, the country has to look at, uh, I mean, the system and, uh, and the government has to look at a uh, number of issues and uh, how we can deal with this, we have, how we can ensure that there is a social protection program uh, to shield people from the impact of uh, any, any economic reform program uh, that we are adopting for now. Um, Minister, what do you make of Donald Trump coming to the Middle East and, and actually stopping Saudi Arabia and then going to Israel in his in his first foreign visit? Does it translate into a little bit more hope for the region? Um, uh, we, we hope so. Uh, I mean, we were in a visit to the United States um, um, uh, with the president to the um, uh, um, uh, 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 last month, and it was a very uh, a positive visit. And we believe that um, uh, uh, more positive um, uh, uh, relationship will emerge uh, from that situation. And we hope this will, would continue with the United States in terms of uh, uh, political and economic relationship uh, to be uh, uh, to be in a, in a in a positive tone and to be in a positive direction in comparison to the last 15 years. Minister,